Hey guys, welcome back to the sealed campaign with Flip. We're gonna play against Liliana Vest now, a game I've never won. Off screen, I've fought her at least three times, and I figure this time around, let's go for broke. I can't even remember if, like, the times that I've fought her were on screen or not. That's how dumb this is. Oh, whoops, I thought I went first. Presumptuous little devil I am. Good, Tormented Soul, a thing that's gonna torment me for the rest of the game. 1-1 one, one that does nothing except stab me in the face until I'm dead. Go striking sliver, you'll at least be a solid one drop. Oh god, I'll tell you what Liliana's deck is like, guys. It's like, hey, I've got nice things, they're gonna get murdered and uh, blocked by things like Draw Scorpion that have Death Touch. And let me tell you. When you're running into a 1-3 that will kill anything it deals damage to, you don't want to attack. But you can't use removal on it because it's just a 1-3. Oh, how about Ravenous Ratsing me? Yeah, is there anything I don't have or I don't need right now? Uh, uh well, mm, a 6 drop right now. You might think, hey, Flip, you just got rid of one of your pow powerful cards. Well, for goodness sakes, I'm playing a black deck. I may never get a chance to play that thing. And speaking of that, I got enough red in my hand, so we're going to go with Terramorphic Expanse. Activate it for a forest, because heaven forbid I don't draw my other half in a red and green deck. But hey, you know what? Losing to Mana Scrooge is totally a possibility in every match of Magic you play, real life or not. Let's attack with this, because it's a good idea. She's not going to block with Ravenous Rats, it's just a rat. I mean, come on. First Strike, there, there's no point. Nor is she going to attack with it next turn, because I've got a second Striking Sliver. Now she'll probably play something that will give all my creatures minus one, minus one, and make me feel like I hate playing this game. Or, you know, nothing like that at all. We're just going to be chump damaging each other here. I did mention in a previous thing that the- Oh my god, it's a 2-3 flying death touch lifelink for three. One of my most hated cards ever. I'll tell you why, because that's way too much value for one and two black. Dear god, that flyer is the bane of my existence, and until I hit five mana and can turn it to slag, I just got screwed. Basically, the only thing saving me right now is the sucker doesn't also come with a vigilance bonus, so even if I say take two next turn, and she gains two life, which is obviously the play that she makes. Uh, I'll be able to, like, <clears throat> attack unhindered for a bit. But still, like, she's just gonna gain more life. I don't know why she's playing the staff other than she can, because the card advantage generated from a single copy... Oh! Hey, now. Destroy target creature with flying. I know why you're in here. Specifically, Vampire Nighthawk. Goodbye. Thank you. Sometimes, in Magic, you end up drawing the perfect card at the perfect time. That's not the case, man. They, she's got worse flyers in this deck than one Vampire Nighthawk. And let me tell you, that guy was only an uncommon. She's probably got more than one of him. But it is pretty tough trying to compete with this with a sealed deck. I'll tell you that much. So what's our late gate plan here? I draw a land? Yeah, I'm a red-green deck. If I don't get to five, I got a problem. Even if she doesn't get to five, I need cards. Okay, folks? That's what I'm hoping on. She's going to drop something in the second main phase to be a jerk. Oh, yeah. Choose an on-land card. That guy discards it. So it's totally her choice. There goes my kill spell. It's a good thing I drew that other thing when I did. Unfortunately, I now... Yeah. Oops, I hit skip attack. Uh, well, that's... Yeah. That's two damage that isn't going through this turn. I hope that didn't matter. I gotta be less jumpy. This game... Oh, God! What did she just get back? My, uh... Oh! Righteousness! Yeah, okay, how about you just grab Yavimea Worm, uh, 4 and 2 green, 6, 4, and just, you know, used... Where is it? Oh, wrong button. Where is it? The, the turn from the grave to bring it back under your control as a freaking zombie. Now I've got the worst nightmare in play. A card I cannot deal with whatsoever. I have Destructive Force, which does nothing. And my other cards are both green. 
We're going to have to skip the attack here. And that guy has trample, so there's no point in me blocking. This is horrible. Yep, skip blocking. Unless I draw something fantastic, I'm dead. This is why uh, I don't like playing against this opponent, guys. Even though I hope to win, she might just draw Tendrils of Corruption and kill me. Rotting Legion is a 4-5 that comes into play tapped. They're not the best cards, honestly, in these uh, sealed campaigns. To oh! Act of Treason. Act of Treason. Swing forth with Act of Treason. Still dead. Sometimes there's some really good plays that Act of Treason can use. So if I'm going to take 7 next turn guaranteed... And I can only minus it by 2... I'm dead anyway. Alright guys, I'll be back in a different time zone because this is a, a, an over game. I know you don't think it is, but watch. I attack with the Avaman Worm. It has Trample. Okay, I stop two of it. Four, I take one five from the unblockable Spectre and I'm still dead. Right? So, yeah. This is a concession. Let's move on to the next time we play. Baron Sengir. Ooh. Or rather, Sengir Vampire. 5 mana 4-4 four, four flying that whenever kills things it gets stronger. I don't know if I'm ever going to get lucky against this black deck. Watch. I block that because I don't want to take 4. I block that because I don't want to take 6. I take too much and die. See you later.